In previous lectures, we were told about a divine promise which was communicated to the Israelite people that Allah was going to send a prophet who would be known as Al-Masih, the Messiah and who would rule the world with justice confirmed by Nabi Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam he would be Hakimun Adil he would rule the world with justice from the throne of Nabi Dawood alayhi salam the Prophet David and with a rule which would be eternal <coughs> but when that promise was communicated the Israelites were out there in Babylon and the Holy Land was occupied the Israelite people understood that if the Messiah was to fulfill this divine promise there were certain logical implications which followed number one that he would have to liberate the holy land number two that he would have to bring the believers back to the holy land to reclaim it as their own number three that he would have to restore the holy state of Israel founded by David and Solomon Allah's blessings be upon them and number four that this holy state of Israel would have to become once again the ruling state in the world and then the Messiah could rule the world from the throne of David alayhi salam with a rule which would be eternal <coughs> after almost a hundred years in Babylon suddenly things began to happen and the Holy Land was liberated the Persian Empire defeated Babylon and the Israelite people were allowed to return to the Holy Land to reclaim it as their own and to restore the Holy State of Israel and the temple or the masjid built by Solomon alayhi salam was rebuilt and so the Israelite people are now excited the excitement has reached fever pitch the Messiah must be around the corner the golden age is coming back we're going to rule the world one more time and sure enough the Messiah came but when the Messiah arrived the son of Mary while some of them accepted him the establishment the rabbis the priests rejected him why did they reject the Messiah answer because Allah tested them and because they were seeing with only one eye they failed the test they said they said that his mother had committed that enormous sin and they said that this baby was a bastard if they had seen with two eyes with the internal eye then they would have known oh no appearance and reality are completely opposite to each other with this baby that 
she was still a virgin and she gave birth to the baby. But they did not see with the internal eye. <coughs> and today's lecture reminds the speaker and the audience that unless we see with the internal eye, we will be deceived in so many different ways. And then when they saw him die on the cross before their very eyes, oh, he could not have been the Messiah. Why? He's dead. He's dead. And the Holy Land is under Roman occupation. He's dead. He never ruled the world from the throne of David. The golden age never came back, but he's dead. And so it is now confirmed beyond the shadow of a doubt. He could not have been the Messiah. What they did not know, and no one knew, for 600 years, no one knew it, until the Quran came down. Was it no, they did not kill him. No, they did not crucify him. But rather appearance and reality were completely opposite to each other. And Allah raised him. And one day he's coming back. And when he comes back, Regardless of resolutions of the Security Council of the United Nations, when he comes back, he is going to rule the world. He will rule the world with justice. And he will rule the world from the holy state of Israel built on the foundations of the religion of Abraham alayhi salam and that is Islam and his rule will be eternal but they did not know that and so they're waiting for the Messiah to come <coughs> Prophet Muhammad Allah's blessings be upon him then informed that Allah had created a being and Allah had committed to that being the mission of impersonating the Messiah pretending that he is the Messiah so he is the great pretender. And that he is known as Dajjal. Al-Masih dajjal Dajjal, the false messiah or the antichrist. <coughs> dajjal means one who deceives. And so the Antichrist has a PhD in deception. In everything connected with the Antichrist, appearance and reality are opposite to each other. If the Antichrist is to successfully impersonate the true Messiah. It follows that he also must attempt to rule the world from Jerusalem with what would appear to be eternal rule. Only then can he declare, I am the Messiah. If he is to do that and convince the Jews that he is indeed the Messiah, 
then it follows logically. Number one, he would have to liberate the Holy Land for the Jews. Number two, he would have to bring them back to the Holy Land to reclaim it as their own. Number three, he would have to restore a state of Israel in the Holy Land and get them to believe that this is the Holy Israel of David and of Solomon Of course it would not be, it would be an imposter. Then they would be convinced. And finally, he would have to cause that state of Israel to become the ruling state in the world. Only then would he be able to rule the world from Jerusalem. And then he can get up and say, I am the Messiah. And they would believe that he is indeed the Messiah. And then he could rub his hands and he can say, Mission accomplished. Agidema 6 for a 9.